welcome back to The Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. The letter that we're going to do today is the title of this video. Um, it's only going to be in right-handed format for this because I've been told that if you flip the video camera for the left-handed version, the letters will appear backwards for my left-handed audience. So to not upset anybody, it will not be available in left-handed. Also, in the video description, I link the playlist where all the letters will exist. They will be provided in time, but I also put one video on how to sew the appliques to the project without going through. So if you want to add personalization of a name and not ruin your project, you can do it that way as well. So I will leave that in your hands. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin the letter V as in violin. And we're going to be using a four and a half millimeter size G crochet hook with Karen one pound. Starting off with your slip knot, you need to chain a total of 18 to begin. So we'll count those out together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Let's begin row number 1. So we are going to create a natural bend that will happen in this so it won't be like the U and we're gonna go second chain from the hook and you're gonna single crochet in the back hump of the chain because it'll look nicer. So once you do that one, I need you then to single crochet the next seven chains. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once those seven are in, I want you to skip just one chain and start on the second one over and just start single crocheting up. And that will create a natural bend to allow your V to take shape. Once that's done, the tail that you're using right now is going to be the one that you will secure it down to the project. So keep that longer. And then you have the beginning tail that you have to deal with, right? So turning it over and get a tapestry needle to deal with the beginning tail. Okay, so looking at the back of the V. dragging it back and forth and ideally you want to drag it back and forth inside the project a total of three times. And when you're sewing it down this will also help get it stuck in a position as well. And once that one's done, trim. And then with the natural bend that you'll have, you have the letter V.